Hi, my name is Troy Hersher. I am a trauma-informed life coach. Um, I'm scrolling through my social media news feed and, and I'm seeing the, the posts about the two South St. Paul uh, police officers that were both found in the last couple of days to have committed suicide. And, um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the news reports say died suddenly, um, you know, the sudden death of and I saw a post, a comment on it that, that was asking very sincerely, why did we not see the signs of, of PTSD, of suicidal tendencies? Why didn't we see the signs that these two police officers were suffering? Um, and it's, I wanted to talk on that for a second because yes, some signs were probably missed, but it's not, it's not how people think. So when somebody is suicidal, um, and they have suicidal ideations and, um, okay, let me back up a little bit. There's in, in my, this is, again, this is my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I'm, I'm a, uh, trauma informed life coach, somebody with, with uh, diagnosed PTSD and somebody who attempted suicide at one point in their life. And it's, it's my understanding and it's my, my complete belief that, um, there's two kinds of suicide. There's the kind that has the person that's an emotional wreck, that they're crying, that they're sobbing, that they are desperate and they commit suicide. That person is struggling with the idea. Um, they may want to leave this life, but they're torn. They don't, they do, they don't. And that person is, is a lot of times hoping for help. You know, I'm not saying that they, they committed suicide or they attempted suicide in a way that they could be saved. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that they're looking for help. They're looking for somebody to reach out and help them. Now there's this other uh, version of suicide where it's a business decision. That's where I was. This wasn't an emotional thing for me. Um, a lot of people that I've spoken to that have experienced this. It's a very pragmatic decision. It's a very calculated um, business decision. And that's why it can seem so sudden. That's why these two police officers from South St. Paul, that's why it seems so sudden is because they weren't, they had a plan. They had already planned it out. They had already decided that this life was better without them. And they just went through the motions. So when, when people say, you know, did we not see the signs? We didn't see the signs, but the signs are not what we're thinking of. The signs are going to be um, signs of post-traumatic stress. There, there's going to be signs of depression, of anxiety, um, things that the people wouldn't necessarily correlate with uh, an attempted suicide. Things, for example, um, little things that, that throw them into a rage. You know, they have, I, I heard it talked about the other day, I posted a video earlier on the roller coaster of PTSD where your emotions are up and down and up and down. And um, the the up and down is is going between fight or flight and then okay. Um, people with PTSD with, with post-traumatic stress and anxiety have high levels of, of uh, adrenaline and cortisol in their systems. And so it they it just takes something just little, you know, a, a startle, um, something doesn't go their way and they can go off and they get upset. And then they, they don't know why their body doesn't understand why they're upset. So then they attribute it to whatever's in front of them. And we label them as hotheads. That's a sign that they need to get help. That's a sign of a potential suicidal ideology. Now, it's it's not it's not their fault, and I I, I I hate saying that because the family members who suffer from this, it's not their fault either, and and it's kind of hard to say it's not their fault when you've got this person that's a that's a, a raging you know. Uh, maybe he's abusive. Maybe he's just verbally abusive. Maybe he's just angry all the time. And or I say he. It's most often a he, but it, this could be a she as well. So anyway, I'm, I'm kind of getting on a little bit of a ramble. But what I wanted to say was, no, they probably didn't see the signs because they didn't recognize them for what they were. We were never were looking for suicidal tendencies. We're looking at it from a a, a sadness, depressive kind of state of mind. But really. The, the scary was scariest ones, the most serious ones are the ones where they're pragmatically thinking about it and they're they're planning it. So anyway, my name is Joy Hersher. I am a trauma informed life coach and um, I I'm working at getting the word out there that the the warriors in this world, the military police, fire, um, nurses even, um, uh, search and rescue, all these all these professions that have a lot of daily stress 
these symptoms can sneak up on them. And what I wanted to share is you don't have to suffer with this. You don't have to hide it and you don't have to keep it in a dark place. You can, you can get it worked on, you can get it fixed and you can keep your career. Um, you just need to know how to reach out and who to reach out to. And I would love to be able to help you do that and uh, get you in a, uh, a safe place and get you in a happy place, get you from surviving to thriving, which is what my program's called. So um, please share this. If you know anybody who, who can use this, um, I would love to um, help them and, and to help spread the word. So again, Joy Hersher, I'm a trauma-informed life coach. I would love to help. I'll talk to you soon.